Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Roger E. Gertz Field for tonight's action between the visiting Scott Skyhawks and your class AA defending state champion Logan High School Wildcats. As we're going to get started, I'm going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook.
All right, guys, we are live. Uh, give me a few minutes. My the wind's kind of picking up here, so I'm trying to uh, trying to get it down. Trying to station my iPad a little bit. I think it'll be fine. But on the mound is Dawson Maynard. Up the bat for Scott Skyhawks is number 18, Luke Knight. As Maynard threw that pitch in there for ball one. And now that pitch is in there for strike one. Give me a second. I'm on a ladder today. So, so I'm getting back on the ladder. Giving you all a try to give you all a higher view. Hopefully this will work. As Light gets a base hit. Luke Knight gets a base hit. And that'll be. A lead-off single for the Scott Skyhawks, Luke Knight. Now up the bat for the Skyhawks is number 10, Cooper Martin. Again, we'll go over the defensive positions for Logan here in a couple minutes. As Maynard is now stepping into pitch, looking back. You can hear the Skyhawk fans getting loud. And that pitch is called for ball as Martin was going to look the bunt to try to move Knight over. The positions for today from the outfield, from left to right, you got Ryan Roberts in left field, Aiden Slack at center field, and Jared Burnett is in right field. And Maynard's pitch is low away for ball two in the infield. First baseman, Connor Lowe. Second baseman, Garrett Williamson. Shortstop is Carson Kirk. And third base is Cole Blankenship. Jake Ramey is behind the plate with Dawson Maynard on the mound. 2-0 count for Martin as he foul tipped it for strike one. Scott comes in here with a two-win record, 2-8. Two and eight, But... All their losses were a total combined of 10 runs. So they have been in every single ball game this year. Logan comes here with a record of 8-0 with a last night hard victory uh, against Chattonville. And Maynard throws over two first for Williamson as Knight advances to second. That was a sacrifice ground uh, bunt for Cooper Martin. But that loop moves Luke Knight over to second. Now up to bat for the Skyhawks is number 24, the pitcher, Griffin Miller. And Griffin Miller looking to step in. As Maynard's pitch is down the pipe for strike one. Again, the internet has been kind of lagging here. To today, so if my feed cuts in and out. Uh, I do apologize. I will try to come back live as soon as possible. But Maynard looking back at second. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two for Griffin Miller. This is going to be a pitcher's duel today between Maynard and Miller. Miller is the pitcher. With one out here in the top of the first. Scott has a runner on second. As Maynard is trying to strike out the batter. He looks back a second. Here comes the pitch. As Miller hits it down towards Blankenship. Blankenship is going to throw over two first. And he is. They got Miller out at first, but that moves Luke Knight over to third. And again, bear with me, my. Where I'm up higher, the wind is probably going to shake my iPad. I can't help it. I'm trying to hold it still. I have a flimsy iPad. So, so hopefully the wind will die down soon where, it's, where it doesn't pick up as bad. But now up to bat for the Skyhawks is number 12, Dylan Grant, the center fielder. As that pitch is down the middle, strike one. Last night, me and Matt Carter went live for Chattonville. We had a little hiccup in our action, but uh, we was able to finish the game as Logan won in a 
I call classic as that pitch is in there for strike two. Logan was down one to nothing going into the top of the sixth. They scored three runs. Chapville tied it up at three. Logan opened the floodgates and scored four more runs to make it a seven to three lead. And they was able to hold off Chapville for the final score of seven to four. As Maynard with the 0-2 pitch at low, uh, excuse me, balls low into the dirt for a ball one. A one-two count for Grant. Grant is the senior. Scott Skyhawks teams are senior heavy for what it looks like with a couple of sophomores and a junior in there. Mainer two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Scott strains the run at third. As Logan will now go to the bottom of the first. And they're going to try to put some runs on the board. I am going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. We will be right back. All right, we're back. Leading off the lineup for Logan is the DH for this game, Corbin Bostic. They pulled him from right field, and so he's DH, and Jared Burnett is in the is in right field position. As on the mound for the Skyhawks, Griffin Miller. As Griffin Miller, two pitch. Highway, ball one. And we're going to go over the lineups for the Scott Skyhawks. After Miller's pitch. Here comes the pitch from Miller. And misses for ball two. In the outfield from left to right, you got Cooper Martin at left field. Center fielder is Dylan Grant. And right field is Owen Atkins. Here comes the pitch. Ah, ball three. Now we got a 3-0 count for Corbin Bostic. And in the infield, first baseman Sam Cook. Second base, Luke Knight. Shortstop is Brady Carrico. And the third baseman is... Hunter Knoll as that pitch is away for ball four as Corbin Bostic will walk to first base. And again, if you're on here, share the video. Let's get more people on here to watch it. On the on the mound for the Skyhawks is Luke and is Griffin Miller, excuse me. Behind the plate is sophomore Austin Light. Miller, two pitch. As they 
threw back over to first, and Bostic is in there safe. That pitch is outside for ball one. With no outs. Maynard, the class double A player of the year. As Miller, two pitch. High. Ball two. Six straight balls for Griffin Miller. Miller needs to calm down. Playing the defending class double A state champions. Coming in here with a record, and there's his first strike. A 2 1 count for Dawson Maynard. Maynard looking at a 2 1 count from Griffin Miller. Here comes the pitch. And that ball's away for ball three. 3 1 count for Dawson Maynard. Miller. Looking back at second. Here comes the pitch. As Bostic steals for second, as that pitch will be called a strike. So now we have a full count for Dawson Maynard. But Corbin Bostic moves over to second. Maynard looking at a full count now from Griffin Miller, the junior. Here comes the pitch from Miller. Highway, ball four as Maynard is now walking to first. With no outs, we're going to get a mound visit from the Scott Skyhawk coach as he does that. I'm going to step aside as Jake Ramey will be stepping up to the plate. So stay with us. We'll be right back. So after that mound visit from the Scott coach, we are back to action. That's Miller to pitch for Ramey. Ramey lays down a bunt as he throws over to first for the easy out. But that bunt will move Bostic and Maynard to third and second. So a sacrifice bunt for Jake Ramey moves him over. So now Garrett Williamson. We'll be up to bat the second baseman trying to bring in Bostic from third with one out. Williamson had a clutch hit last night against Chapmanville. Here comes the pitch as it's in there for strike one. We got partly cloudy today with a little breeze, but this is a great day for baseball. As Miller steps off the mound, and like what he sees, trying to Catch is cool. Be calm. Looking for the signs. Here comes the pitch. Williamson foul tips it into the creek for strike two. Whenever that ball comes near me, I always got to be on alert. But nonetheless, Williamson has an 0-2 count with one out. Here comes the 0-2 pitch from Griffin. And that ball is high for ball one. Again, if you send, send me friend requests during the live stream, I will not be able to accept them because it could cut the feed. So wait until after the game. As that pitch is low away for ball two. A 2-2 two -two count for Garrett Williamson. Griffin, Miller, two pitch. Ha! Ah, ball three. We now have a full count for Garrett Williamson. Again, I am on a ladder. I am elevated, so you can get a better view. This is a probably the best view I've had all season. So we'll work with it until I get tired of it. As Williamson swings and a miss, strike three. 
Miller's first strikeout. And now up the bat for Logan. The guy who came in clutch yesterday, four for four with two doubles. The four co-player of the game, first baseman Connor Lowe with new walk-up music. So with two outs now, Logan still got runners on second and third. As that pitch is out away, ball one. Miller looking to pitch. Here it comes. And it's uh, out of way again. Ball two. Pitches are high. He's trying to aim for that top right. Top left corner, excuse me. But Miller looking to pitch. And misses again. Ball three. A 3 0 count now for Connor Lowe. As here comes the pitch from Griffin Miller. And misses for ball four. So Logan's now got bases loaded. With two outs as up the bat is the center fielder, number 23, Aiden Slack. Sorry, I had to fix the camera just a little bit. As... Griffin Miller, two pitch. And that pitch is down the middle, strike one. Scott Skyhawks brought a crowd. This is a rival matchup, personal matchup now, knowing that Scott has eliminated Logan in the basketball state tournament. As that pitch is high for ball one. But this is now a personal matchup between Logan and Scott. As Logan basketball players like Garrett Williamson, Cole Blankenship, Aiden Slack, Chase Maynard has not forgot about this. Uh, Slack swings and a miss. Strike two. One two count for Aiden Slack. He's got bases loaded with two outs. Base hit here could score Bostic and Maynard. As Miller, two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Logan strands the bases as we're now going into the top of the second. We're still scoreless. As Scott is coming up to bat, I am going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. Sorry about that. Uh, 
takes a while for a big man to get back up the ladder. But as that throw is over, two first for second out. Sorry. Batting for the Skyhawks was the catcher, 27, Austin Light. Maynard had a 1-0 count, and Light grounded out for a 5-3 out. So that will now be one out on the board as coming up to the plate for the Skyhawks is the designated hitter, number one, Will Thompson. Maynard's pitch misses. Ball one. Now Maynard looking at a one one pitch and swing and a miss for Thompson. Strike one. Maynard two pitch as Thompson hits it to Blankenship. Blankenship throws over to first and that is in there for the second out. Great defensive play by Cole Blankenship. Now up to bat for the Skyhawks, Hunter Knoll, the third baseman. As here comes the pitch from Maynard. High, ball one. And again, the Wi-Fi here is kind of shaky today, so my feed might go in and out. Just bear with it. I'll try to get back on if it goes out. So that pitch is in there for ball two. If it hasn't gone out on your side, then that's great. But I'm just saying if it does and you send me a message, just bear with me. I'll try to fix it as much as best I can. Wi-Fi here is bad as that pitch is in there for ball three. We got a 3-0 count for Hunter and Ole. Maynard two pitch. And that pitch is low, but they called strike. Noel has a 3-1 count now. Here comes the pitch from Maynard. As Noel hits it right back towards Slack. He misses. As Noel is going to second. He's in there safe. So that will be a double for Hunter Noel. As Slack went to dive for the catch. And it missed it. Missed him so Hunter Noll will get a two out double. Now up the bat for the Skyhawks is the first baseman, number eleven, Sam Cook. Now Scott has a runner in scoring position. Here comes the pitch from Maynard. Maynard hits it. Right pa they called it fair. They called it fair. Hunter Noll is coming home. Hunter Noll comes home, but that is Sam Cook with a RBI double. Scott leads it one to, to nothing over Logan. So now, Ramey's talking with Maynard. Back-to-back -back hits for the Skyhawks has really sparked the light for the Skyhawks. This is a sectional matchup. And coming up to bat for the Skyhawks is the shortstop, number 13, Brady Carrico, the senior. Maynard looking to pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. But Sam Cook did his job. Brought in Hunter Noll from second. So Maynard looking to pitch. As that is hit right past Blankenship. As Cook stays at stays at third. But that will be a single that will move Sam Cook over to second.
as they're going to talk it over with Maynard. As he talks it over with his players, I'm going to step aside real quick. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Maynard looking back over at first. Scott's got runners at the corners. Here comes the pitch. That pitch is low for ball one. Maynard for science as that ball is foul into the home bullpen for strike one. Maynard, looking for his signs from Ramey. He gets him. Here comes the pitch from Maynard. As that ball is fouled towards the bridge. So we got a 1-2 count now for the Skyhawks. Uh, the leadoff man in the top of the lineup, Luke Knight. comes the pitch and so, but that was strike three as now we're going into the bo top uh, at bottom of the second Logan trails one to nothing to Scott I'm going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook We're back here in the bottom of the second. Scott has a one nothing lead over Logan. Coming up the bat for Logan is also one man who came in clutch last night against Chapmanville. Number nine, Ryan. Rhino Roberts. As Miller, two pitch. At pitch is low for ball one. Here comes the pitch from Miller. And that is in there for strike one. Miller, the 1 1 pitch as Ryan Roberts hits it down. And it got past the first baseman, Cook, as Roberts is in there safe. 
That is a hard hit. I don't rule that as an error. No, they are going to rule it as an error. They ruled that as an error. I thought it was a hard hit, but it could have been easily grounded by Cook. But nonetheless, Ryan Roberts made it to first. Is now up to bat. The right fielder, who's usually the DH, is number 14, Jared Burnett. As Roberts made it in, I'm going to have to move the camera down just a little bit, guys. The light is shining in it, so I can't help it. As Burnett bunts it back towards the backstop for strike one. Miller looking back over first. But they throw back over to first as Roberts is in there safe again. Griffin Miller playing a chess match with Ryan Roberts, trying to keep him at bay at first. Miller looking to pitch. Burnett. That pitch will go ball as he brought the bunt back. Miller to pitch. Griffin Miller uh, pitches to Jared Burnett. And it lays down a beautiful bunt. Does it. He doesn't beat it, but that moves Ron Roberts to second. Good sacrifice bunt by Jared Burnett. Moves Ron Roberts over to second as we got one out on the board. Now up to bat is number seven, Carson Kirk. Now, I was supposed to go live for the JV game, but my phone was kind of low on battery, and I need to save it, so I couldn't go live so this will have to so only varsity will have to work i'm sorry for the people who asked me to do the jv game i'm terribly sorry i couldn't couldn't help it but miller looking to pitch as that ball is in there for strike one griffin miller to pitch and just misses for ball one. Miller looking for his signs. Steps off the mound. He resets. Miller looking back a second. Here comes the pitch. And that pitch is high. Ball two. 2-1 count for Carson Kirk. Griffin Miller looking for his signs. Looking back at second. Here comes the pitch. And that pitch is highway. Ball three. A 3-1 count for Carson Kirk. Miller looks back at second. Here comes the pitch. As Kirk fouls it back. We got a full count now. Sorry, they had to fix the gate. But Griffin Miller looking for his signs. He gets it. Here comes the pitch. Ah, ball four. Carson Kirk is walking to first. So Logan's got a runner on first and second with one out as coming back up to bat. The top of the lineup, number three, D.H. Corbin Bostick. Miller looking to pitch. As that pitch just outside, ball one. Logan's got runners on first and second. They'd love to move them over. Miller looking back at second. Here comes the pitch. As 
pitch is foul tip, but caught by the catcher for strike one. Griffin Miller looking for his signs. Looking for the 1-1 pitch. Here it comes. And that pitch is in there. Strike two. And we got a 1-2 count for Corbin Bostic. Scott's record is 2-8, and eight, but they're better than 2-8. and eight. They're one of the best teams in this state and definitely in this region. And they're showing it tonight. Here comes the pitch. And just misses. Ball two. Logan, number one, and undefeated. And the defending class double A state champions trying to remain undefeated as they have man tomorrow, depending on the weather. So here comes the pitch from Miller. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two outs now for Logan as up to bat is the pitcher, Dawson Maynard. Maynard trying to bring in Roberts and Kirk. Miller looking to pitch. That ball is away from Light, and that will move Roberts and Kirk over to third and second. So now they got runners in scoring position again with a 1-0 count. Again, there's a light shining on the screen. I can't do nothing about it. That's just the way the lights are. Um, it's not as bad where it makes the view like blurry, but we'll just have to work with it. As that pitch is inside for ball two. Again, I'm elevated and I'm on a ladder to try to give you all the best view you could possibly have. As Miller looking to pitch. Maynard foul tips it towards the creek. 2-1 count. Miller looking to get this final out. Have Scott go into the top of the third. With a 1-0 lead, Maynard is trying to bring in Roberts from third. As that pitch is in there for a strike two. 2-2 two -two count for Dawson Maynard. Griffin Miller, two pitch. High. Ball three, full count for Dawson Maynard. Miller looking at a full count pitch. Maynard hits it, and it looks like it's in trouble. It's going to get caught by the second baseman, and it will for the third and final out. So, Scott gets out of the jam there. As Logan leaves runners at third and second, we're going to go into the top of the third. Scott with a one to nothing lead. I'm going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook.
All right, we're back here in the top of the third. Leading off this inning for the Skyhawks is number 10, Cooper Martin. Maynard looking to pitch. Yeah, swing and a miss. Strike one for Martin. Logan Trails one to nothing to Scott. Almost looking reminiscent of last night against the Chapville Tigers. Maynard to pitch. As Martin hits it foul towards the locker the home locker room. And he's now got a 0-2 count. Again, Logan's trying to remain undefeated on the year. And trying to go up into the sectional tournament with this Scott Skyhawks team who is in it. Chattonville is also in it. They gave Logan a tough game last night. Are we in for another classic here between Logan and Scott? Here comes the pitch. And that caught the bottom corner for a strike three. Scott has one out on the board. Now up the bat for the Skyhawks. Number 24, the pitcher, Griffin Miller, the junior. Maynard looking to pitch and just misses for ball one. Miller looking at a one on cat, swing and a miss, strike one. And again, if you don't want to watch my live video, WVOW Radio is also uh, on air tonight. Bill Lusk is on the call. So if you want to just listen to it, listen to him. As that pitch is in there for a strike two. But if you want to watch the action, I am your guy. I am going to bring you all the home games. As Matt Carter will bring you all the away games. As tomorrow, he'll bring you the man versus Logan game, if the weather permits it. Maynard with a one-two pitch. Low, blocked by Ramey for ball two. Maynard looking for his signs. He gets it with a 2-2 count. Here comes the pitch. And just misses. We have a full count now. Full count now for Griffin Miller. Here comes the pitch. And Griffin Miller hits it towards center field slack, and he got it. That is out number one. Or out number two, excuse me. Griffin roped that two straightaway center, and slack was able to catch it. As now up the bat for the Skyhawks is number 12, Dylan Grant. Logan's trying to get out of this inning. One, two, three. And try to go into the bottom of the third to get more to get some runs on the board. As Maynard, two pitch. And that pitch is in there. Strike one. Maynard. Looking for signs from Ramey. He gets it. Here comes the pitch as Grant hits it. Foul down third base line. 0-2 count now for Dylan Grant, the senior. Grant, who played basketball this year for the Skyhawks. Again, you got to give congratulations to the Scott Skyhawks. They finally did it. They beat Logan, and they moved on to the semifinals and lost to the eventual state champions. So, great season for the Skyhawks, and also great season for Logan as Maynard to pitch. As Grant hits it over the shortstop's head. As he is now going in, he's going to stay at first. Thought about going to second. He didn't. So, that will be a two-out single for Dylan Grant. Now up the bat for the Skyhawks, number 27, the catcher, Austin Light. Yeah. 
Maynard. Looking back at first. Trying to keep Grant in the in first. And that's pitch. That pitch was low as Ramey threw back over to first. Try to look at the action, but Grant is safe. So we got a 1 0 count for Austin Light. Maynard, two pitch. And just misses low. Ball two. So far, Griffin Miller has a no hitter through two innings. As Maynard, two pitch. As they're going to throw down to second. And Grant is safe. But that pitch will be missed by Light for strike one. So, Dylan Grant steals to second. He's in there safe. So, now Scott has another runner in scoring position. With a 2-1 count for Austin Light. Low into the dirt. Blocked by Ramey. Ball three. Maynard looking to pitch. As that is a base hit. Roberts. Throws over. That's a base hit for Austin Light as Scott has runners at the corners. And now we're going to get a visit from the catcher to talk, talk it over to Dawson Maynard. As Will Thompson will be at the plate. So we're going to now get a courtesy runner. Carter McClung is going to come in for the catcher. So, Ramey talks it over with Maynard. Maynard has runners at the corners. Logan needs one more out to get out of this jam. Maynard looking to pitch. As that pitch is in there, strike one. Maynard gets his signs from Ramey. Here comes the pitch. As that ball is fouled down out of third baseline for strike two. Maynard looking back over at first, looking at third. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three as Logan gets out of that jam. Scott strands runners at the corners as we're now going into the bottom of the third. Scott still leads one to nothing. I'm going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook.
Alright, we're back. As now up the plate for Logan. Number 12, Jake Ramey. Miller so far has thrown a no hitter. As here comes the pitch. As that pitch just misses for ball one. Here comes the pitch from Miller. And just misses on the outside for ball two. Miller looking at a 2 0 pitch. And right down the middle, strike one. Again, Logan will be back in action tomorrow, depending on the weather. And they will take on their county rivals, the Man Hillbillies. Here comes the pitch from Miller. And caught the Caught the bottom right corner, the bottom left corner for strike two. Here comes the pitch from Griffin Miller. And just misses outside. Full count now for Jake Ramey. Miller, two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Sorry, just working with the camera there. As that pitch is foul tip for strike for strike one. Sorry, I was trying to play with the camera a little bit. Trying to get that glare from the lights, but can't do nothing about it, so I guess we're just going to have to work with it. As here comes the pitch from Miller. And just misses ball one. Miller to pitch. Williamson hits it right past the shortstop towards center field. That will be a single for Garrett Williamson as he gets Logan on the bases with one out. And now up the bat for Logan, the hero, number 19, Connor Lowe. He's got new walk-up music, so... But uh, nonetheless, Lowe stepping in the batter's box. Logan's got runner at first. Miller looking back over. And he throws back over as Miller throws back to Cook. And Williamson's back in there safe. Trying to keep Williamson at second. At first, excuse me. Trying to keep him honest. We got another busy day on the island. Williamson. Slides back in there safe. Miller not allowing Williamson to take extra steps in order to steal the second. As that hit from Williamson broke up the no-hitter for Griffin Miller. Miller. Look back a second. Here comes the pitch. High. Ball one. Again, not a secret. Logan loves to put speed on the bases and move over. Here comes the pitch from Miller. As Williamson is stealing for a second, and he is in there safe. But that pitch will go as. Trying to see what they put on the board. I missed the ump's call. Don't know what that pitch was, but. Swing and a miss. Strike two. So, uh, assuming that, pit, that last pitch was a ball. So, now I think we have a 2-2 count. Missed the umps uh, call, so I didn't know what he called. So, here comes the pitch. Aha! Ball three. I think we have a full count now for... No, it might be a 2-2 count. I'm... Sorry, I lost track of it. We'll see what this pitch goes. See where, where the count is. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Doesn't matter anyway. 
Now up to bat for Logan is number 23, Aiden Slack. Logan trying to get Williamson in to get that run on the board. Miller steps off. Miller to pitch. And it's like go around. They said no. He said he didn't go around, so that will be ball one. Looked like he did. He held up. 1-0 count for Slack. Here comes the pitch from Miller. And that is in there. Strike one. Griffin Miller has pitched a really good game so far against Logan. Did it last year. Miller. Looking at Looking back at second. Here comes the pitch. As Slack. Whoa. Foul tips it. Four. Strike two. A one-two count for Slack. That pitch was just a little bit lower. It could have landed. Or a little bit close, uh, lower. And towards my right, it could have landed in the, in the stands. Got to be careful about baseballs coming at you. Those hurt. So, one-two count for Aiden Slack. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three as Griffin Miller strikes out Slack. We're now going into the top of the fourth. Scott still leads one to nothing as they are coming up to bat. I'm going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. Uh, we're back in the top of the fourth. Scott leads one to nothing. Leading off in this inning for the Skyhawks is number 14, Hunter No. Maynard. Looking to pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Maynard, two pitch. Just misses. Ball one. Here comes the pitch from Maynard. No. Foul tips it back towards the creek. One two count. Noel's last outing, he got a single. And he was able, no, he got a double. I think it was a single or double. I can't remember. I don't, I'm not keeping stats. I, I would. I usually do, but since I'm working multiple things, I can't keep stats. So, no. Got on base last time, and he scored from a hit from Will Thompson. So, that pitch is in there for ball two. Maynard looking for the 2-2 pitch. And got him. Strike three for Dawson Maynard. One out on the board. No, excuse me, number 11. 
Sam Cook. Now Sam Cook was the guy who got null in. So excuse me on that on that misinformation. Here comes the pitch from Maynard. Dang. Right down in there for strike one. Maynard, two pitch. Swing and a miss from Cook. Strike two. On deck for the Skyhawks is number 13, Brady Carrico. Scott can hit the ball. And here comes the pitch from Maynard. As foul tips it towards the river. Still no two count. Maynard. Don't like his sign. And now he likes it. So, here comes the pitch. And that is a slow one going over to Carson Kirk. And he's in there for the second out. Almost beat it out. That was a bang-bang play. It really looked like he, he beat it, but they called him out. Again, I got the heavy breathing like Darth Vader. Bear with me on that one. <laughs> so, now up the bat is Brady Carrico. As that pitch is in there. Caught the top left corner. Strike one. Maynard, looking to pitch, and that is to right field, that's going to drop, that's a blooper for Brady Carrico, as the ball got away, low, low, sorry you didn't see the action there, but low, the, uh, I mean Carrico got a blooper hit towards left field, Ron Roberts wasn't there to track it down. Threw it over to Williamson, second base, got away for it. Connor Lowe was able to grab it, and Carrico was off the bag. But he got back in there safe. So, that will be a hit for Brady Carrico. Is now the top of the lineup is Luke Knight, the sophomore for Scott. Two outs here in the top of the fourth. Logan. Trying to get this third and final out going into the bottom. Williamson grounds it. And he is safe as that throws just away from Connor Lowe. So that will that was a hard throw to make for Williamson, but Austin Light is in there safe at first. So, Scott has runners on first and second with two outs. And coming up is Cooper Martin. Maynard, two pitch. As that pitch is low, ball one. Maynard looking back at second. Here comes the pitch. Martin hits it to center field. That is going to drop. That will try to score a run. And he is out. What a throw from Aiden Slack. As that run will not count. What a throw from Aiden Slack to get tagged out by Jake Ramey. He was going all the way home. But Slack with a cannon of an arm got him out as Logan Keeps the score to one to nothing. As Skyhawks lead, we're going into the bottom of the fourth. I'm going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook.
Now we're back in the top of the bottom of the fourth. Excuse me. Sorry, I lost that. Uh, lost that run. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that is pitches in there for a strike one. It's the pitch from Miller. Foul tip back towards the backstop. 0-2 count now for Ryan Roberts. Scott leads one to nothing over Logan. Miller, two pitch. And got him. Strike three. One out. This is almost looking reminiscent of last night. Logan had a slow start, but they were able to pick it up in the late inning. Can they keep it going? Miller, two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Miller, two pitch. And the pitch is in there. Strike two. Griffin Miller has got his groove now. Just like last night, Jacob Topping found his groove against Logan. Miller's doing the same thing tonight. Here comes the pitch. And swing, but the ball goes away. But they're going to throw over. And he is out. So now up the bat for Logan. Number seven, Carson Kirk. Comes the pitch from Miller. And that's in there. Strike one. Miller. Seven straight strikes. As here comes the pitch from Griffin Miller. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Griffin Miller is in a groove right now. Looking to strike out Carson Kirk. And got him. Got him looking. Strike three. Griffin Miller with an unbelievable pitch that it pitches those innings. Not one ball was thrown as we're going into the top of the fifth. Scott still leads one to nothing. I want to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. All right, we're back in the top of the fifth. Leading off in this inning is Scott's number 24, Griffin Miller. Skyhawk fans, Skyhawk things, they're getting behind Griffin Miller. So that pitch is high, ball one. Scott has the momentum in this game right now. Maynard, two pitch. Swing and a miss, arc one. 
Again, the wind is going to pick up here. So, hopefully it don't knock my tripod over. Maynard. A 1-1 pitch to Miller. And that's in there. Strike two. Maynard. Looking at a 1-2 pitch. And caught the bottom corner. Strike three. And that will be one out for Scott. Now coming up to the plate is number 24, I mean, excuse me, number 12, Dylan Grant. Maynard looking to pitch. And that's in there. Strike one. Logan's dugout's got to get loud for this team. We're in another dogfight again. Here comes the pitch from Maynard. As Grant hits it. That could get out of here. It's out of here. Home run for Dylan Grant. What a shot for Dylan Grant. He got one. Scott now leads. Two to nothing. What a hit from Dylan Grant. That ball sailed right over the DLS sign out in left field. Scott fans are on their feet. Now leading up for the Scott. Coming to the plate, excuse me, for the Scott Skyhawks is number 27, Austin Light. Here comes the pitch from Maynard. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Here comes the pitch from Maynard. And just misses. Ball one. Scott now has momentum in this game. Maynard looking to pitch. Misses. Ball two. Here comes the pitch from Maynard. As foul down. Third baseline out of play. Strike two. 2-2 two, two count for Austin Light. Maynard to pitch. Foul tipped it. And into the into the creek. Sorry, that ball was really close. It looked like it could have, if it hit the light, it could have dropped back and hit me. But nonetheless, 2-2 two -two count for Austin Light. Scott trying to keep this rally going. Here comes the pitch. And he popped it up. It looks like it's going to get caught by Carson Kirk. And he dropped it. Lost it in the light. That's an error. Scott has all the momentum right now as up to bat for the Skyhawks is number one, Will Thompson. Scott believes they can be the team that ends Logan's undefeated streak. Maynard looking back at first. Here comes the pitch. High, ball one. That home run really lifted Scott right there with Dylan Grant. Here comes the pitch. 
Foul tips back towards the backstop. Strike one. Maynard, two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Maynard. Looking back a second. Here comes the pitch. And tip, but caught by Jake Ramey for out number two. That was strike three. Now up the bat for the Skyhawks, number 14, Hunter Knoll. Maynard looking back over at first. Now looks at second. Here comes the pitch. And that is in there. Strike one. Sorry, my camera's starting to tilt a little bit. And what a throw by Ramey and tagged him up was Williamson. Sorry you missed it. My camera was a little bit uh, leaning a little bit. I tried to fix it, but Ramey threw down to second. Williamson tagged him, and that will be the third and final out of this inning. But Dylan Grant's home run gives Scott a 2 to nothing lead. As we're going to go into the bottom of the fifth, Logan needs some runs. I'm going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. All right, we're in the bottom of the fifth. Leading off this inning is number three, Corbin Bostic. Logan needs some runs here. They trail two to nothing as that pitch is in there. Strike one. Dylan Grant has pitched an amazing game so far. Here comes the pitch. And breaking ball's in there. Strike two. Griffin Miller. Excuse me. I think I said Griffin Miller. I said Dylan Grant, but anyway, Griffin Miller, the pitcher, Pitch though. It's pitching a great game. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Griffin Miller is in the zone right now. Now up the bat for Logan. Pitcher number 16, Dawson Maynard. He gave up a home run to Dylan Grant. Can he now answer with his own home run? He's capable of doing it. Here comes the pitch from Griffin Miller. Breaking ball is in there. Strike one. Miller. A snowstorm can't cool his hot arm right now. Here comes the pitch. High. Ball one. Got to give credit to Griffin Miller. He is coming in here doing exactly what Jacob Topping did last night from Chapmanville against Logan. He is pitching a tremendous game, shutting out Logan right now on only one run. And that pitch is foul tip back towards the backstop. Strike two. Griffin Miller. Got to love his love his heart. He wants to win this game. Here comes the pitch. High as that would have been a great chance to get over to second. But now we got a 2-2 count. 
for a Dawson Maynard. Miller to pitch. And Maynard duck. And we got a full count. Miller to pitch. Maynard pops it up. It looks like it's going to get caught by Hunter Noll, excuse me, shortstop Carico for the second out of this inning. Two outs now for Logan. Now up to bat for Logan, number 12, Jake Ramey. Miller, two pitch, and that's outside, ball one. Griffin Miller so far has only 83 pitches. Here goes the pitch. And it's in there. Strike one. Excuse me, 86. My bad. I was looking at the home pitching side. Can't tell those apart. But Miller with a 1-1 one, one pitch. And that is in there. Strike two. Griffin Miller is in the zone. I mean, I keep saying over and over, but, man, this, this kid is just doing an outstanding job pitching. Here comes the pitch from Miller. High. Ball two. Last two nights, we've seen two pitchers, two great pitchers, Miller and Jacob Topping. And they're in their section. This is going to be tough. Here comes the pitch. And just outside, misses. We got a full count now. Scott trying to go out of this inning. One, two, three. Here comes the pitch for Miller. And got him looking. Strike three. Griffin Miller get you touch him man you're gonna burn up he is on fire right now as Logan again scoreless through five innings we're going in the top of the six Scott with a two to nothing lead over Logan as Joey Canterbury is now going to be on the mound so Maynard will move to third as Maynard, uh, Canterbury gets warmed up, I'm going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. All right, we're back. Leading off of this inning for Scott is number 14, Hunter Knoll, is Joey Canterbury coming in to relieve for Dawson Maynard. Here comes the pitch. And that's in there, strike one. Last pitch was a ball. 
Scott with a two to nothing lead over Logan. Here comes the pitch from Canterbury. Ball misses into the dirt. Ball two. Canterbury, two pitch. Inside. Ball three. Canterbury is a sophomore. Relieving Maynard. Canterbury, two pitch. And low. As Hunter Knoll is trotting down to first. With no outs. Scott has a runner on first. Logan has had opportunities to score, left them stranded. Really looks like reminiscence of last night. As we're going to get a courtesy runner for Scott, number five, the basketball star, Landon Stone. Coming in. At the plate for the Skyhawks, number 11, Sam Cook. As here comes the pitch from Canterbury. And Cook foul tips it back towards the backstop. Strike one. Again, guys, if you're on here, if you're a Logan fan, start praying. Logan wants to win this game so they can stay ahead in the sectional matchup with Scott and Chapmanville and Wayne and Mingo as Cook calls time. Steps out of the batter box. Canterbury didn't like what he's seen from his catcher. Now Canterbury steps back on the mound. Cook back in the batter box. Canterbury, two pitch. Oh, what a catch by Dawson Mayer. Got to throw. Oh, they were, he was thinking about throwing back over two first. But what a diving grab by Dawson Maynard. That ball was foul tipped into the air short. Was going to land out of play, but Maynard with the hustle to get that out. Impressive play for Dawson Maynard. Now coming up to the bat for the Skyhawks. The shortstop, number 13, Brady Carrico, as we're going to get a – Get a huddle up at the mound. As uh, my friend uh, Booth Davis shows me the replay, man, that is a great dive by Maynard. And Gert's talking over with the coach. I think Maynard uh, trying to shake it off, but what, did a, what an amazing play by Maynard. Again, Scott is hitting the ball. They have 11 hits. Logan only has one hit in this game with one error. I mean, uh, Logan, uh, Scott has one error, excuse me, I think. Here comes the pitch from Canterbury. High. Ball one. Yeah, Scott has one error. Forgot about that passed ball past the first baseman, Cook, from hit from Garrett Williamson early on in this game. So, Scott... 2-0 lead. Canterbury to pitch. As that ball is cracked. That could get out of here. And it's caught by Ron Roberts. As they got to throw back. And they got him. Stone went hard. That ball was hit. Crushed by Carrico. Was caught by Ron Roberts. What an amazing grab by Roberts. That looked like it could have got out of here again. And... Ryan Roberts threw it over to Williamson, threw it over to Lowe to tag back at the back, and Stone is out at first, so that will end the top of the six. We're going into the bottom of the six. Logan still trails two to nothing. They need some runs. 
I'm going to step aside. You're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. Sorry about that. You missed everything. <laughs> Thought I had to. 
I'm so sorry about that, guys. I thought I hit the mic to turn it back on. That is my fault. I am so sorry. But what you missed is Garrett Williamson with a single, Connor Lowe with a single, and now Aiden Slack is up to bat with a 1-1 count. I am so sorry, guys. I thought I hit the button. Here comes the pitch for Miller. And Slack pops it up. That is woo. I thought about going. It hits it towards the away section. I thought about going there. But anyway, <laughs> again, I am sorry about that. I thought I hit the sound off. That was my fault. All right, anyway, one-two count for Slack. Griffin Miller, two pitch. As Williamson goes to third, Slack lays down a bunt, and Slack beats it as it goes away. Slack is going to set first, but Williamson is coming home. And Logan gets their first run of the game on an error throw to first. Logan back in this game. They trail one, two to one as we're going to get a mound visit from the Scots coach. It could be could be curtain call for Dylan Griffin Miller. As we have no outs. Logan has runner at third and first. They're at the corners. Williamson comes in to score off of a sacrifice bump from Slack, but it was an air throw. It was supposed to be sacrificed, but air throw by the third baseman. Or no, by excuse me, by Miller. And that capitalized and Logan capitalized on the opportunity. Scored Williamson from third. As Williamson was going anyway. So that will be a 2-1 at disadvantage for Logan. Excuse me. I was trying to think my thought. I about fell off the ladder. <laughs> but anyway, uh, now coming up the bat for Logan is number nine, the clutch hero in last night who started, who got Logan those two runs in against Chapmanville, Ryan Roberts. As Slack stole the second, they didn't throw, so Logan's got two runners in scoring position. As that pitch is, I can't see what they called. And they called that a strike. Scoreboard put it up as a strike. Miller with the pitch. And and they say he didn't go around. So, Ryan Roberts did not go around on that one. So, that's, no, they, okay, they fixed it. 0-2 count. Here comes the pitch. As that pitch is high, ball one. Sorry, Slack is at second. Low is at third. A hit in the outfield can score low. A base hit here can score low and Slack. As Robert steps out of back. As, so step out of the batter's box. As Griffin Miller has 104 pitches. Here comes the pitch. As that got, got away, Roberts. Lowe's going home, and he is safe. Lowe beat up the throw. Roberts is out at first, but Lowe is in there safe. We are tied at two. Excuse me, that's one out. Yeah, one out on the board. Griffin Miller is at 105 pitches. But that scores Connor Lowe. We have a brand new ball game tied at two. One out. Now up the bat is Jared Burnett. The base hit here or hitting the outfield can score slack. As they tried to throw the bunt as Burnett brought the pit brought the bunt back for ball one. Logan has stole momentum in this inning. So, good contact here for Jared Burnett. Can get Burnett lay down, trying to lay down a bunt. High, ball two. Burnett's trying to lay down that sacrifice bunt, trying to move Slack over to home. As Miller with 107 pitches. Here comes the pitch. And that is in there. Strike one. 
Oh, the fans aren't happy about that. Anyway, with a 2-1 count for Jared Burnett. Miller, two pitch. And that's in there. Strike two. 2-2 two -two count for Jared Burnett. Miller has battled back in the count. Intense here on the island. Miller, two pitch. As foul tips back towards the backstop. Still a 2-2 two -two count for Burnett. He stays alive. And Miller is at, is at his limit, 110. So this is his last batter. Miller, two pitch. And that is in there, strike three. As they are not happy. Gert, fans aren't happy. Coach Gertz ain't happy. The players aren't happy, but they called that strike three. As Logan now, uh, Scott has two outs now. As we're going to get a new pitcher in, Griffin Miller. You got to get the hats off to Griffin Miller. He pitched a fantastic game today. Logan has saw back to back pitches. So, as we're going to get, we're going to get new pitchers, a new pitcher in for Scott. Number 14, Hunter Knoll, as it's getting heated here on the island. As he pitches and gets warms up, I'm going to step aside. Again, stay tuned. All right, we're back. Hunter Knoll in the pitch. Carson Kirk's up to bat as that pitch is in there. Strike one. We got a we got a nail biter here on the island. Logan got the go ahead leading run at third. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Makes your heart skip a beat. Scott wants this win against Logan. Carson Kirk. Up to bat. Here comes the pitch from Noel. As Kirk foul tips it out of play towards the elementary school. Still an 0-2 count for Kirk. A base hit here for Kirk can give Logan the lead. And score slack from third. Griffin Miller pitched an outstanding game. He went the limit. Here comes the pitch. As Kirk foul tips it towards Slaptown. Still an 0-2 count. Again, Scott fans, thank you for tuning in. Logan fans, thank you for tuning in. It's been a great game here on the island. Here comes the pitch from Noel. High. Ball one. Two outs. Logan's got runner at third. Here comes the pitch. As Kirk hits it, could be trouble, but no, it's going to get under by the second baseman for the third and final out. So no more damage is done. But Logan has tied it up going into the top of the seventh. Scott's coming up the bat. I am going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook.
All right, we're back in the top of the seventh. The top of the lineup for Scott. Leading off is Luke Knight as that pitch is outside, ball one. Canterbury, the sophomore, on the mound. Here comes the pitch. And low, got it. Strike one. Here comes the pitch from Canterbury. And got the outside. Strike two. Got the outside edge. So, one two count for Luke Knight. Canterbury to pitch and just misses outside. Ball two. Two two count. Four. Luke Knight. That's Canterbury to pitch. And swing and a miss, strike three. Canterbury struck out the batter. We got one out away from Scott. Now up the bat for uh, for Scott. Number 10, Cooper Martin, who is signed to play college football at Glenville State University. Congratulations, Cooper. My time at West Virginia State, I recruited the, the guy. Uh, left due to family reasons, I had to leave. So now I'm back at uh, Logan bringing you live fees and talk to Cooper great young man as that pitch was in there for ball one great young man great great heart loves the game of football loves baseball too so Canterbury two pitch and got it in there strike one Canterbury gets the sign here comes the pitch Swing and a miss. Strike two. Canterbury. Looking at a one-two pitch to Cooper Martin. He likes what he has. Here comes the pitch. In there. Strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Joey Canterbury. Coming up the bat for Scott is number 24. Was the pitcher. Pitched a great game, Griffin Miller. And no, I'm not related to him. I don't think so. As Canterbury steps off the bag, Griffin Miller. As the – giving an adjustment as here comes – Joey Canterbury. Wind is starting to pick up here. As that pitch just misses. Ball one. Sorry, the wind is starting to blow a little bit. It's cool until now. So I'm trying to hold the stand. Here comes the pitch. And misses again. Ball two. They are not happy about that pitch. We got a 3-0 count. Again, the wind is starting to pick up now. It's blowing my way. And that's in there. Strike one. So again, bear with me with the wind. Can't fix it now. But here comes the 3-1 pitch from Canterbury. Swing and a miss. Strike two. One more strikeout. Logan gets out of this inning. He gets out of the top half of the inning. Full count for Griffin Miller. Miller foul tips it towards the creek. Still a full count. And again, for people who don't know about my broadcast, when music plays during breaks, I have this thing where I click this button on here where it mutes for my headphones where you can't hear anything. 
So that's why you couldn't hear nothing at the inning. I thought I unclicked it, but I didn't. Here goes the pitch from Canterbury. And go! Strike three! Joey Canterbury! Broadway Joe comes in clutch. Strikes out Miller. We're going into the bottom of the seventh. Logan and Scott are tied at two. I'm going to step aside as you're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. All right, we're back. Bottom of the seventh. No pitch. That's high. Ball, ball one. No to pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. We got a two-two ball game between Logan and Scott. Hunter Noel comes in to relieve for Griffin Miller, who went the distance. Here comes the pitch, and. That pitch is low, but it's in there. Strike two. Again, I am. I know I. I I'm not trying to sound biased. I know I'm a Logan grad. Uh, I love Logan. I can't help it, but I'm being fair as much as I can. Uh, swing and a miss. Strike three. Hunter Knoll strikes out Corbin Bostic. Logan's got one out on the board. Now up the bat for Logan. Number 16, Dawson Maynard. Logan just needs one run to end this game. If not, we're going to extra innings. Here comes the pitch from Hunter Knoll. Pitch is high. Ball one. Again, the wind is blowing. Trying not to let it knock off my camera stand. So here comes the pitch from Knoll. That's in there. Strike one. Pitch from Noel. Maynard foul tips it back towards the creek. One two count with one out. And again, the wind is blowing. I'm trying to hold down my camera stand. Try not to let it shake as much. Can't help it if it does. As Noel two pitch. Maynard hits it. That's going to get over the short. The shortstop's hit it. That is going to be a single for Dawson Maynard. So Logan's got the game winning run on first. And up the bat for Logan, number 12, Jake Ramey. Ramey, base hit here, can move Maynard over. No, two pitch, Maynard's going. And Maynard is in there safe. So Logan's got the winning run in scoring position. As that pitch was a strike. Again, a base hit here for Ramey can win it. With a 0-1 count, here comes the pitch. High. Outside, ball one. 
Again, if you're Logan fans, start praying. If you're a Scott fan, start praying. Here comes the pitch. Outside again, high, ball two. Hunter Knoll looking back at second. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. A 2-2 two -two count for Jake Ramey with Garrett Williamson up to bat. Noel looking back in second. Here comes the pitch. Ramey hits it! That is over the head of the shortstop! Maynard holds up at third! Garrett Williamson's up coming up to the plate! Ramey is at first. Logan's got the winning run in third. At third, excuse me. And now I'll have to bat for Logan Garrett Williamson. A base hit or a hit in the outfield can, can win this game. Or a pass ball, you never know. But here comes the pitch from Hunter Knoll. Ramey's going. That uh, pitch in their strike, so Ramey moves over. That fooled Scott once back in 2017 when Logan rallied from a 5-1 deficit to beat the Skyhawks. As Williamson is moving, they potentially walk him. He is now on first. So, Carlo, the hero from the state tournament last year, is up to bat. A hit can win it. The runner is 90 feet away from home plate. The game winning run. As we're going to get a mound visit from Chris Barrett. So as he visits Hunter Knoll and the Scott Skyhawks, I'm going to step aside. You're watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. We will be right back. All right, Connor Lowe up to bat for Logan. We're back. Noel, two pitch. High, ball one. One out. Here comes the pitch from Noel. That is in there, strike one. Again, a walk or hit by a pitch, a hit in the outfield or a pass ball can win this game for Logan. Here comes the pitch. And outside, ball two. 2-1 two count for Connor Lowe with one out for Logan. Here comes the pitch. High, ball three, one more ball, and Logan comes away with a win. And Scott is playing the play uh, is playing the, the play at the plate. Low hands it to the outfield. Can it stay fair? It is Mayor's tagging! And it is in there! Safe! Logan wins it! Carlo with a sacrifice fly walks it off for Logan! Carlo! The hero again! Clutch hit in the state tournament. Does it this time against the Skyhawks. What a game for both clubs. You got to give your hat off to the Scott Skyhawks. They came in here with a great game plan, and they almost upset Logan. But what a game on the island. To me, there's no losers. Scott played an absolute great ball game. Perfect pitching by Griffin Miller. Just Logan came away with the win. Connor Lowe walked it off, the hero, again. And that is your final score. And 
Well, everybody's asking who am I going to give the player of the game? I got to give it to Connor Lowe, the walk-off winner. Scott, what an effort. This team is better than what their record says. That I was told the record's like 2 and 8, but they're they're way better than their record. And this is going to be a team that's going to be tough to beat when it comes to sectional time. But Logan comes away with a 3 to 1, 3 2 victory in the bottom of the 7th. They rally to beat the Scott Skyhawks. Guys, stay tuned. I am going to do my interview, post-game interview with Connor Lowe, the game player of the game. As thank you for tuning in tomorrow. Logan will travel to another rival, the Man Hillbillies. The Man Hillbillies will be hosting Logan. So stay tuned. Matt Carter will be on be on the call. I might join him. It just depends on how his voice is. But that is it for today's ball game. Your final score, Logan 3, Scott 2. Logan moves to 9-0 and and remains undefeated on the year. I am Daniel Miller, and you have been watching Logan High Baseball live on Facebook. See you next time.